This video will highlight Ontario's accessible hiring requirements, practices, and provide some practical tips for employers to ensure their hiring process is accessible to all Ontario citizens. Common Accommodations in Hiring So some common accommodations in hiring uh, might be if the challenge for the individual is stamina, you could provide a break during a longer interview, you could if an interview occurs during certain times, ask if they would like them earlier, maybe later in the day. You could also, uh, if the hiring process is in multiple parts, or to have multiple stages of that hiring process, you could consider holding it over two days. If the challenge for the individual is perhaps concentration, um, you could pick a quiet room for the interview, right? So something that's out of the way. You could choose somewhere with natural light. You could provide uh, written questions in advance. You could also allow some more time for the interview to occur if that's going to be a concern. If the challenge for the individual is anxiety or uh, um, an increased uh, stress level, uh, you could maybe only have one interviewer present during that process. Um, if at all possible, you could provide the questions in advance if that's not, uh, if it's not a test. You could provide the candidate with a written agenda for the day, so what the day is going to look like. You could consider video conferencing or a phone interview, if that's more accessible. Um, you could allow a support person to be present, if that's something they require. You could also choose a place that can accommodate a service animal, so if they need to bring in a dog or a service animal that they use for their anxiety. If the challenge for the individual is uh, perhaps outbursts or uh, compulsions uh, associated with a disability or a mental health concern, then it would be good to ensure the interviewer is aware that these might occur. Um, choose a space away from other workers uh, to put the person that's coming in at ease. You could, come to think of it, ask ahead of time if they uh, have certain triggers that might uh, result in a compulsion or a tick, right? So, i.e. door handles or certain scents that might be in the office. 